How has your intake process changed from when you started to where you are now? How much do you, do you spend more time? Are you more diligent? I know I've seen you, I see a note here that reminds me as a constant reminder to me is to say less to more people. And the reason I'm asking you is I think you've mastered that art to be able to be super effective, but I'd like you to share how that affects your intake process and how you approach that when you meet a new prospect. One of the things that I've focused on has been to identify the personality because I think your ability to be more effective with somebody on the phone all depends on what sort of personality they are. So once you can figure that out, some of my calls initially are very short and I don't get into the stories and stuff because it's not the right time. Um, but over time, you build a relationship with that person because they, they feel like you actually understand them. And that's when you can start to build, you know, build on that relationship. Is it fair to say, Matt, that 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 first call, albeit short, maybe sweet, and you say I don't necessarily take the time at that point to get in the conversation of their story, our story, kind of thing? Would you would you say that that's not also kind of resembles one of those benign touches? Like I want to make a quick touch, I want to make a quick call, I want them to know I'm here, kind of thing. Kind of set the pace, set the set the stage for a future conversation that may be longer. Is that is that kind of along that line? Yeah. Yeah, because you'll you'll get on the phone with somebody and you can you can tell what kind of personality they are. They're they're that, they're that I. They they're the the realtor that you know. Sometimes you can't get them to stop talking, and and those are moments where you just you can have a long conversation with them. You can really get into it. You can get to know who they are. They're fun, bubbly sorts of personalities. But a lot of people that we talk to might be an attorney, and they're very short on the phone. And if you try to you know, engage them and stuff, then you, you haven't identified that they're busy right now and that might be a turn off to, to people. Um, but then when you when you talk to them a couple times and you've respected them and you can identify that personality and, and what they're going through at that moment, because um, a lot of this, it's not face to face, it's all over the phone. So you have to really be, you, you gotta be a master at that. And once you can master that, then you can Built, you can build on that relationship where they, they actually, they, they like you because you've never bothered them. You've How long never. Does it take you to identify I think for some of us it's easier than others. Um, but I would say <laughs> for me, I can usually pick it up in about 10 seconds of, of who, who, who they are. Do you, use, do you use like the travelers type program that they have? Have you done that training with travelers where they have like the the different personalities laid out? I haven't done Travelers, but I've done a couple other ones. One is a disc, which I think last year I, um, the DISC personality types. Right. That's kind of what I go to. I think they're all very similar. Um, but yeah, that's, yeah, there it is. Is it safe to say, Matt, that, that, that that's your personal development when it comes to that activity? Yeah, I think that was that was one of my strongest skill sets. I think that it is my strongest skill set, but I've I've worked at it and and really honed in and tried to make get that, that good. So if Matt were if Matt were diagnosing that portion, I mean the question to the question Taylor just asked, I mean he's 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 researching and finding a solution to understanding personality better. You reference travelers. What I love about those two those two points is that those are how to's back up a couple steps, good attitude, good approach makes learning that outcome and implementing that outcome way better and easier. So I, I love that. And we have so many resources at our fingertips. Like sure. it takes two seconds to Google somebody's name and you can, you know, as long as it's not John Smith, you can usually find out, you know, who, who they are and uh, what maybe, a good tip. maybe they're a doctor, maybe they're, you know, maybe they own a restaurant. You can find out all these little things about them, and when you call them, you can start building that rapport right from uh, the first call. So.